Police are searching for a bear tonight after the animal was spotted twice in a matter of hours. In fact, one person even snapped that photo of the bear on their cell phone. KCRA 3's Linda Muma is live for us and Tracy now with a look at where the bear was spotted and the warning tonight from police. Linda? Edie, we are live at Galley Family Park on Lowell and Orchard Parkway, where you can see that a drainage ditch runs parallel to the roadway here. Police say that the bear was first spotted coming from this area around 8:45 last night, and then again about five hours later at a nearby shopping center. Where are the woodlands here? where a bear would be? We're not in like, you know, Arnold or anything. Why would a bear be down here? Workers in this busy Tracy shopping center are baffled by how a bear ended up here after the animal was spotted in the parking lot around 2 o'clock this morning. The first thoughts were maybe somebody had captured it and brought it in as a bad prank or something. Police say they searched the area for about five hours last night. This is a pretty unique situation. I've never heard in 20 years, I've never heard of a bear in Tracy. And we're back at it again today. So we don't know where it came from. It's possible from the hills, but. Um, Really, no idea at this point. After receiving two reports of bear sightings, including this one where the person captured a picture on their cell phone. What do you think about the bear being this close now that you've seen the photograph? Terrified. I'm really afraid, but at the same time, I'm concerned that the poor baby might get hurt. Or hurt others after another person reported seeing the bear near an elementary school in Park in a residential neighborhood just blocks away. My daughter uh, goes to West High and she texted me this morning, Mom, there's a bear on the loose, so be careful. While alerts went out to the parents of students at nearby campuses, police are warning people not to approach, chase, or attempt to corral the bear, but to instead call authorities. The size of the bear doesn't look that big, but we don't know what kind of damage it could do, so uh, better safe than sorry. Just uh, let, us, let us deal with it. And police say that wild animals are dangerous and can be provoked when cornered. Because the bear appears to be active at night, police are keeping a close eye on areas like this where, where there's trees and rooftops where the bear may be sleeping during the day. And it's also working closely with fish and wildlife to locate the bear. Reporting live in Tracy, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News.